Best of 14, hold on, my app is not in. My app is ah. Yes, that chair is for Barbara, hold on, my app. Check, 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 check. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I hear now kind of echo in the app. It's all right, it's not overly distracting. If you all want to get tough. Yes, I can hear Leslie. Right, good. Twenty-three minutes to live. Okay, great. Okay, we starting from the deck. I know originally they were talking about do right. Right. Thank you. Right. Okay. Okay, here's what? Look across there. Hey, what's going on? Originally, we, we spoke about doing the opening across by the... by the... by the... by the mural. Kishon! Kishon! Just... Oh, we had 22 minutes to live. That's what they're saying. That's what they're studying. I guess you do not I don't know. If you, if you think we could do it, then we, we will do it. That's what they're saying. Right. 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 Um, I have no eyes on Tamara as yet. But we know, we know where we are, and we know what we can do and can say possibly, you know? Okay. If we, if we could, if once you could set Yeah, okay. So, all right. Leslie, do you need me here still? Tell me. Tell me. Selwyn wants to see, he wants to see how it looks, how it's going to look across there. So, we're just going to, I'm just going to walk across. I'll have the mic. Um, tell me. I know where I'm going. Do I have... Yeah, by the, by the imaginary plane. I want, okay, here's the situation, right? The only thing is when I go across there, I wouldn't have IFB. If you understand. All right, Charlie, here, what are you going to do? gonna check the system if we have to do this right so if we have to do this I'm going to plug I'm going to plug the IFB into my phone and what you will do is before we go live you'll call me and any necessary instructions you'll just give me via the phone right if need be Check, check, hold on.
I told you it was me. Yeah. I take the last one. The last one is not that much. That's how bad I am. I bad. Which last one? The last, last email. Maybe set with three or four seconds. Thank you. What is it? What is what this is it? What we say in Nessa? Which is Han da da da. Yes, please. Let me just hold my phone because that has. We will need a pen. You will stick the pen in case I need to write. All right. All right. Okay. This is the one. This is the one you're talking about? Mm -hmm. So that's the correct one. Right, so you're welcome to Aurora. Right, but there was one sent. After that? No, I did not see it. Well, they don't, she don't know we're doing anything, and I'll be going with what we know. I don't know. <laughs> Take care of this thing falling down water. This is water nah, here, you know? Okay.
Good evening, I am Hans De Vines and welcome to the Queen's Park Savannah in the capital city of Trinidad and Tobago, Port of Spain. It's not just the capital city of Trinidad and Tobago, but it is the creative cultural capital of the region. Welcome to Cari Festa 14. And I am Tamara Williams and together with Hans Warmest welcome to everyone who's getting the opportunity to view the opening ceremony of one of the most anticipated events on the Caribbean calendar, Cari Festa 14. Wherever you are in the world, welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Indeed, for more than four decades, this event has been the catalyst for regional integration, bringing together artists, artisans, and other cultural practitioners in one space to share, create, educate, stimulate, and most of all, unite the cultural movement across the entire region. Trinidad and Tobago is very proud to host over 24 countries as they get the opportunity to showcase their various talents from culture to law mm. and all other aspects of their heritage. We are extremely proud and this is what it's all about as we showcase here in Trinidad and Tobago. It's an exciting evening tomorrow. The Queen Spark Savannah is bursting with energy. And most of all, like you could just feel the excitement in the air right now. We are about to witness one of the most amazing openings in the history of Cari Festa. One that epitomizes the diversity and creativity of our region, the Caribbean region, and us, the people of the region. We give you Cari Festa 14, the tangible and intangible. Connect, share, invest. As you can see, Representatives from the various islands contingents are actually making their way inside the venue right now. A little earlier, you know, for the people who are in Trinidad and Tobago, you might know that there was actually a parade of each and every single one of the islands representing here this evening and that are going to be represented over the course of Cari Festa 14. It is really a cultural experience, really a true coming together of everything that we are as Caribbean people. Listen, we, I am seeing Barbados in front of me, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, of course, we are here representing in a big way and we are getting ready very soon for the opening. You can just look at the stage. The steel pan is set up there, and we are getting ready for what is going to be a cultural experience right here at the Queen's Park Savannah. We're also going to hear from the Prime Minister of the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley. We're also going to hear from our Minister of Culture, our CARICOM representatives as well. Just making their way to the stands right now, we're actually seeing the contingent from Suriname making their way up the stairs Oh boy, here we have the beautiful people representing here. And, and as you can see, Cari Festa is truly an experience where the entire family can get involved and really represent exactly where they are from. This is Cari Festa 14. And we're really talking and encouraging people to connect, share, and invest. This is how we as a region really, really, really come together. Also, something we have to note is all of the different contingents that we have here representing. We have Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Haiti, Jamaica, Montserrat, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Grenadines, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, also our CARICOM associate members, Anguilla, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands. We're also gonna have independent contingents here representing Canada, Colombia, Cuba, Curacao, Guadeloupe, and Martinique. And here we have the Minister of Community Development, Culture, and the Arts, Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gadsby Dolly, outfitted very beautifully here as she makes her way inside the Queen's Park Savannah. And we, she's actually being greeted by the show's producer, Judy Chung Dennison, and also Mr. Lennox Toussaint. And Tamara, here we are. We are so 
excited about this experience. The audience is absolutely beautiful in terms of its color. And uh, this is what the Caribbean is all about. A lot of color, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy as the various countries made their way into the grandstand. This is going to be a phenomenal evening. I got an opportunity as well last evening, Hans. You were present as well for just a brief rehearsal. Yeah. And it is something to look forward to this evening. Now, one thing we do know, Tamara, is that we are in for a great show. As you can see, just walking down the halls there, our camera crew, you're seeing all the behind the scenes yes. this evening. You're all, you all actually are getting a real behind the scenes look. Now, Tamara, there's so much thing, so many things to talk about. Now, we're actually going to talk a little bit and you're going to see in the opening display a little bit in terms of the indigenous people and they're actually yes. going to be represented by some young kids. So that is something that I personally, Tamara, am yes. really looking forward to. Got, got, and you got a little emotional about it last yeah, evening it, as it, well. It really, it really was emotional to see the young kids. Yeah, the, like the next generation somewhat who are coming forward and getting an opportunity as well to learn their history yes. in its most authentic state. And one thing a lot of people have not mentioned and really focused on is that Carrie Festa really brings forth the best of the best in the regions. I mean, the different contingents would have sent the best of the best yes. cultural ambassadors mm -hmm. to represent them in Cari Festa. But even from Trinidad and Tobago, you see some of the best of the best. And when you see the presentation that we have here for you all this evening, you will really understand that, listen, the best of the best come from the Caribbean. We have it. We have the energy. We have the attitude. And we have the drive to continue to connect with each other, yes. share with each other, and most of all, invest in each other to make it all happen. And it's somewhat of a history lesson as well for all age groups. Even easier for those who are attending school as well. It gives you an opportunity. We have the uh, Prime Minister and uh, Miss, Mr. Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley making his way along with Mrs. Rowley as uh, they make their way into the stands. And when we talk about the uh, history though hands uh, it's an educational opportunity yeah. uh, there are those who are not it, who don't enjoy reading for example so in terms of getting a live demonstration live demonstration being educated with practical practical excitement that is also something that we can look forward to this evening and for the week as well because we're talking about over a hundred activities represented by the various countries for the next two weeks now carry festa 14 Yes, we have a lot of different elements. Some of the elements include a pan show on yes. Wednesday. It's pan and powder. It's actually going to be taking place um, from Knox Street. It's going to go through Frederick Street, and they're going to move through Port of Spain. Also, a lot of activities are happening in Tobago. We have the film festival happening during Carry Fest, and they're also going to have some very interesting workshops. So for all the people that are interested in film, interested in film, this is an opportunity to really get involved and be part of the movement that is the film movement, not just in Trinidad and Tobago, but throughout the Caribbean. We're going to see some top designers as well. Correct. We're also looking at the Youth Fest that's taking place at Bishop Ansi Girls High School, where uh, the young ones get an opportunity as well. The youth of our nation get an opportunity to showcase their talent, be mentored, and you know get some advice, some practical advice from those who are already in the industry. Uh, some people need a, a level of guidance who may not know the right path, for example, but they do get that at the Youth Village, so they should check it out, which starts off from tomorrow, actually, and runs for the entire week. All right. Well, we're also just waiting on the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Paula May Week. She'll be joining us shortly. And Tamara, the parade of the islands, it was most interesting for me to see the different islands move around the Queen's Park Savannah. And not just the fact that they moved around the Queen's Park Savannah, but also the fact that you saw so many people on the side of the road making yes. sure that they get their cell phone, they get the snaps, they get the Instagram videos. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It is. It, it, it really is. And Trinidad and Tobago, we're so lucky. And it's something that we shouldn't take for granted, that we're hosting Carrie Festa for the fourth time. Yes. Tamara, what were your past experiences with Carrie Festa? When it came to Carrie Festa, I mean, I never saw such a turnout, to right. be honest. And I 
truly believe it has grown from strength to strength because more and more activities have been added to the calendar, True. which is quite commendable also. It is very well organized, yeah. and I can only imagine what is about to happen for the next two weeks. Now, Tamara, from in 1992, mm -hmm. Cari Festa was held in Trinidad and Tobago. Then in 1995, 2006, and now in 2019, it all comes together. Something else that a lot of people are talking about is the Cari Festa Youth Village. This is where the young people from different parts of the region are really going to get the chance to share with each other, yeah. talk to each other, meet and greet each other. Because mm -hmm. let's be honest with ourselves, sometimes our kids from the Caribbean don't necessarily get the opportunity, well, most times they don't necessarily get the opportunity to travel throughout the Caribbean. Yeah. So the understanding of the culture of the different Caribbean islands, it is so important. And, and, and when we start to understand Caribbean culture from different islands, from all the islands, we start to notice how similar we are. Yes, as a people, very similar. In uh, And we also get an opportunity to see how diverse we are yeah, and yeah. a chance to also learn from each other as well because we being here in Trinidad and Tobago take a lot of things for granted and it's, it's really nice and it's also an educational opportunity when we learn from the other islands as well. Something that, that may not be presented to itself as you mentioned before yeah a lot of times we remain in the country some people don't get the opportunity to travel so this is really a grand opportunity for a lot of education learn a lot about the history of our caribbean brothers and sisters and for us here in trinidad and tobago to learn a little more about ourselves interesting enough you, you mentioned reading and learning about each other one of the ways that we're really going to learn about each other is actually through the bocas lit fest committee and, and the people involved in the Bocas Lit Fest, they also are very much featured here at Cari Festa. And listen, at any point in time during the entire period of Cari Festa, because it's going to go on for the next few days, well not few days, like 10 days, yes. it's going to go on for the next 10 days. So you really want to be a part, you really want to come, come to the Cari Festa, the, the main village, and find out about so many different cultures and so many different things happening here in Trinidad and Tobago during this time and what happens in Cari Festa whichever island it may be going to. Montserrat is in the house. I saw Montserrat. I saw Guyana. I saw Jamaica. Mm -hmm. St. Kitts and Nevis, like I mentioned before. Barbados is here. Well represented. Now, some of these contingents are very close to a thousand people. So the islands are here all represented. You know what that also signifies, Hans? The fact that so many of them are coming to represent their country. Yes. It's a, a, a level of patriotism. And that is not something that you can only see, but it's something that you can actually feel as well. A level of patriotism is something else. Sometimes we Trinbagonians uh, exercise that patriotism at intervals. Yeah. We're not consistent with it. But these other islands really do love and embrace their country. And we can learn a thing or two from them as well. Well, we're still awaiting the arrival of the President, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks. And as soon as she gets here, we're actually going to kick off the show, all right? Now, tonight's show, it is actually a collective vision to awaken the Caribbean through the vast rhythms of home. Their creative arts lie deep within the marrow of the Caribbean islands. It is a legacy we must articulate and preserve beyond the creative chasms of our artistry. And the story was developed by a young, talented writer, cine cinemographer, uh, uh, Dahlia uh, Dennison. Now, she is also the artistic director as well of the production. And her vision is that this awakening happening right here tonight, Trinidad and Tobago, will get the opportunity to really cradle and reignite the activities calling for the vitality and necessity and cre of the creative arts as well. And as mentioned, we have the presence of our president, Megan her way to the stands as we give you that opportunity.
So right now we're getting ready for the national anthem of our Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to be played on the steel pan, our national instrument. And we have the Kane Twins on stage and they will be playing the national anthem, after which we'll actually have the CARICOM song. Gentlemen, please be seated. What a way to start with a sparkling rendition of the national anthem by the brother and sister duo of Deja and Deja Kane. Once again, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the opening ceremony of Carifesta 14 in Port of Spain. This is the fourth time for Trinidad and Tobago, and it is a wonderful time as we say welcome to our Caribbean friends and neighbors here with us to celebrate this special occasion. To bring greetings, it is now Connect, my pleasure share, to invest. You. What a way to open it, open it all up. The national anthem of our Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, played by the Kane Twins and also the CARICOM song. That is the official patriotic song of the Caribbean community, really celebrating the history, culture, and identity of the people of the Caribbean hands. Beautiful song as well. It was actually launched at the 35th meeting of the Conference of Heads of Governments held in Antigua and Barbuda in July 2014. So in some ways, a relatively new song, so not everyone in the Caribbean is quite familiar with it, but trust me, over the next few years, you are definitely gonna get familiar with it because that song really does celebrate us as Caribbean people. If you, if you listen to the song, if you even go on YouTube and you actually check out the video for the yes. song, because there's a video and you'll see how beautiful the Caribbean is and so many of the things that we need to continuously celebrate. And we want to give you an opportunity when the, uh, the actual theatrics open. And so many surprises in store. But before we do that, we take you stateside. President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Mr. Kerwin Garcia, Dr. the Honorable Keith Rowley, 
Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The Honorable Bridget Anissa George, Speaker of the House of, of Representatives and Mr. Newman George. His Worship Joel Martinez, Mayor of Fort Spain. Members of the Government of Trinidad and Tobago. Ministers of Government across the region. The Honorable Kelvin Charles, Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly and other Assemblymen and Councillors here present. Ambassador Irwin LaRocque, Secretary General of the CARICOM Secretariat and Mrs. Sandra Bell LaRocque. Ambassadors, High Commissioners and members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Tobago House of Assembly, members of Parliament, Dr. June Sumer, Secretary General of the Association of Caribbean States, Dr. Hilary Brown, Program Manager for Culture and Community Development of the CARICOM Secretariat, Harry Festa delegations from the region and beyond, special mention of the Trinidad and Tobago delegation, members of the Host Country Management Committee and CARI Festa Secretariat, specially invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. What a journey. But we are finally here. The opening night of Carry Festa 14, Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago's journey to this evening started as an idea, then a decision, followed by almost two years of planning culminating in this grand opening, the start of 10 days of the 14th edition of Cari Festa, the premier festival of the region. Ladies and gentlemen, since the baton was passed from Barbados to Trinidad and Tobago in August 2017, we have all worked feverishly to further elevate this regional cultural celebration strategically positioning our cultural identities into a 10-day festival became a Herculean task. Relative to the rest of the world, we are a small territory with larger-than-life cultural legacies. Our voices, shared memories, fiery spirits, and artistic wonders are all unmatched. We have spent the last two years trying to narrate this unique Caribbean story using the best writing instruments available to us. We have labored over this collage using mixed media, and tonight it is my honor to bestow unto you the exciting cultural product that is Cari Festa 14. We open with Streets of the Caribbean, an ode to the iconic architectural structures from previous and the next Cari Festa hosts across the Caribbean archipelago. From the Chamberlain Bridge in Barbados to Haiti's striking unknown slave statue to Guyana's Starbrook Market, the streets of the Caribbean takes our built heritage and presents it in one concentrated space which represents the manifestations of our collective genius and reimagines a stroll through the Caribbean like no other. These vistas were carefully selected because they represent defining moments of our region's history. Whether they are bastions of hope or symbols of innovation and progress in the region, they resonate with each of us, evoking nostalgic pride in our individual identities. So, to the Cari Festa delegates and our visiting Caribbean diaspora from all over the world, I say to you, welcome to your streets of the Caribbean. Since its inception in 1972, Cari Festa has maintained its status as one of the region's most successful models for cultural integration. It is a biennial exercise in self-rediscovery for the Caribbean people while sensitizing global audiences about the Caribbean's cultural DNA. The theme for this 
the 14th edition, Connect, Share, Invest, captures the broadened trajectory of the festival while reflecting a paradigm shift in Trinidad and Tobago's own cultural landscape. There are over 300 booths in the Grand Market separated into distinct districts. First and foremost is the country district where you can journey through a chain of countries from Suriname up to the Cayman Islands. Then onto the fashion district with over 30 entrepreneurs from the fashion industry in the region and beyond. Island Crafts features 60 regional and local artisans, while Caribbean artistry features a unique mix of artisans and designers. As you stroll down Serenity Lane, you encounter the literary fair where over 100 writers can not only sell their books, but do readings and workshops. The Caribbean Food Court provides an eclectic menu from the region. And finally, the 80 booth trade zone and buyer's market includes 30 booths from the TTME, a Carifesta gift shop, as well as companies that are directly and indirectly associated with the cultural industry. This district also features meeting rooms, workshop space, and a conference facility. At the epicenter of all this is the breakout stage for local and regional performances. So from 11 a.m. daily to 11 at night, the Grand Market will be pumping with activity. The quintessential rum shop, placed there by Angostura, our partners, and the Trinidad and Tobago contributes, completes our Grand Market. And this market is but a stone's throw away from the National Museum and Art Gallery the hub for visual arts, and the youth village located at Bishop Anstey High, powered by Republic Bank and B-Mobile. All of this will be complemented by over 45 events happening across our performing spaces in both Trinidad and Tobago, celebrating the finest of our visual, theater, and literary arts, dance, music, cuisine, and fashion. And while the capital city serves as a hub, six community festivals are created, twinning visiting delegations with communities to share their cultural offerings. Tobago plays an essential role in CariFesta 14, as they host up to four regional delegations to share in traditional heritage events like the Salaka Feast and Kastara Bonfire. Delegations will also participate in cultural workshops in Tobago. Tobago also boasts its own Carifesta village and island vibes daily along the Scarborough Esplanade from August 19th to 21st. Cognizant of the fact that knowledge transfer is critical in developing our region's cultural industry, the Carifesta 14 symposia have been fashioned with trending impactful sessions and workshops. It is our intention that at the end of this festival, the artists of the region stand to benefit from enhanced networks which can further propel the creative industry. As I conclude, I must confess that on a personal and professional level, Carifesta 14 was one of my most exhilarating journey and the best is yet to come. I am humbled to have this opportunity and proud of the dedication of the team that has worked to bring us to tonight. I make special mention of the Carifesta Secretariat and the Host Country Management Committee with the support from the CARICOM Secretariat. I invite you to open your minds and souls to the resplendence of this region's most prolific cultural expression. Allow the memories of Carifesta 14 to overwhelm your senses, inspire your creativity, challenge your intellect, and take you to a higher state of existence. Happy Carifesta, everyone. Thank you very much. What a way to open up the gates, open up the curtains of Carifesta.
the Minister of Community Development, Culture and the Arts, Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gadsby Dolly. Right now we're getting ready immediately for our next speaker. Another address by His Excellency Ambassador Irwin Larocque, Secretary General of the CARICOM Secretariat. So I know many are looking forward to this speech as well. Yeah. Now, as he makes his way to the stage, I just want to emphasize again, Tamara, some of the things that the Minister of Community Development, Culture, and the Arts touched on. One of the yes. main things she touched on was the actual village here. Mm -hmm. Right here, I mean, you're talking about literary arts, you're talking about fashion, you're talking about the Caribbean cuisine, mm -hmm. all here in this one village at the Queen's Park Savannah. And also for the young people, they can really experience the youth village right there at Bishop Anstey High School. Right now we head to the stage to hear from the Cari Festa Ambassador. Acting President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Honorable Miss Bridget Anisia George, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly, Minister of Community Development, Culture and the Arts, Honorable Ministers of Trinidad and Tobago and of the Caribbean Community, members of the Host Country Management Committee, the Interim Festival Directorate, the Carifesta 14 Secretariat, and of course, my own staff at the CARICOM Secretariat, members of the artistic community, distinguished guests, people of the Caribbean. I extend very special and warm greetings to all as we open CARIFESTA 14, the Caribbean Festival of Arts. It is wonderful to be here with so many of you who have gathered in Queen's Park, Savannah this evening to celebrate our unique and inspiring Caribbean arts and culture. This space, which is usually the hub of the internationally acclaimed Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, has been beautifully transformed into the streets of the Caribbean to serve as a hub for Carifesta 14. Together, over the next 10 days, will write yet another chapter in the history of this flagship regional event that is one of the finest expressions of our Caribbean civilization and unity. I join the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago in extending a hearty welcome to ministers of culture and officials from other member states and associate members of the community and our special guests from other countries in the region and beyond. A heartfelt welcome to all delegations of artists from the region and beyond, the diaspora, cultural experts and entrepreneurs, buyers and investors, and the many visitors attending Carifesta Car 14. Carifesta returns to Trinidad and Tobago for the fourth time. And on behalf of all of us, I wish to thank Trinidad and Tobago for its unswerving commitment to CARICOM, to regional integration, and to the hosting and advancement of CARIFESTA. We are most grateful, Honorable Prime Minister, for Trinidad and Tobago's willingness to invest on so many occasions in this highly valued regional event and for the generous Trinbegonian hospitality that has been extended to us as a Caribbean family since our arrival. The transformative power of culture to promote social cohesion, respect for diversity, and resilience building is increasingly important for our Caribbean community. Culture plays a key role as both enabler and driver of the region's development, and CARIFESTA therefore has a special focus on developing our creative and cultural industries. Our heads of government at the 26th intersessional meeting in February 2016 expressed their clear commitment to leverage the human and cultural assets of the community and support the development of the region's creative economy for job creation, growth, and youth engagement. Significantly, according to a United Nations study, the creative sector globally employs more young persons between the ages of 15 and 29 than any other sector. Our youth's outstanding talents in the performing and visual arts, for example, must be provided with the opportunities to flourish and be part of the global creative economy, which generated more than $2 trillion US dollars in revenue in 2015, according to that same UN study. 
a vibrant, productive, creative sector will redound to the benefit of the social and economic sustainability of our region, our international reputation for excellence in artistic expression and creative industries has set us apart and given us a special place in the global imagination. Musical expressions born out of the people's experience, notable, notably steel pan and calypso, reggae, soca, chutney, bouillon, compa, casico and cadence, to name but a few, have in a profound way allowed the people's voice to be heard in the development process and in nation building. For the duration of Carifesta 14, the immense creativity and phenomenal skills of the region's artists will be on show in music, dance, painting, sculpture, handicraft, literature, and film to give just a flavor. An integral element of this event is the creation of opportunities for new and emerging artists to break into international markets. This is in keeping with the theme of the festival namely the tangible and the intangible, connect, share, invest. Before I close, it will be fitting for us at, the, at this premier regional festival of arts to pay our respects to two cultural icons who have passed on recently and whose contributions have had an impact on the arts and on our region in a profound way. I speak of two distinguished sons of Trinidad and Tobago and of the Caribbean, namely the inimitable singer-songwriter Dr. Winston McGarland Bailey, the Mighty Shadow, and Ken Professor Fillmore, Pan Maestro, who both departed our midst nearly a year ago. We celebrate their tremendous lives and their enduring legacy of songs and recordings, which we will treasure for generations to come. I wish to commend the hardworking team who constitute the host country management committee led by the dynamic Minister of Culture, the Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly, for their dedicated and tireless work over the past two years to ensure that Carifesta 14 is a resounding success and one we will all enjoy immensely. We are also grateful for the support of the Interim Festival Directorate, my staff at the Secretariat, Directors of Culture, and our many development partners and sponsors. Together, we have raised the bar in the marketing and promotion of the event, leveraging the intellectual property value of Carifesta, and in developing an innovative festival program that is truly a regional event. I invite you now to participate fully and enjoy this festival. I hope that your experience will be inspiring, that it will foster a greater appreciation of our Caribbean civilization, and that you will have great memories of the festivities. It is my pleasure and privilege to wish all of us a wonderful Carifesta 14. I thank you. A wonderful Carifesta 14. Enjoy, participate, and create the memories right here at Carifesta 14. Ambassador Owen LaRocque, Secretary General of the CARICOM Secretariat. Really enjoyed that one in terms of some of the things he touched on, especially the music. Yes. of the Caribbean, the Booyah, the Reggae, the Soka, the Calypso, everything else that he included inside of there as well. And we have an address by Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago as he makes his way to the stage. But you know, usually as a, as a tourist, you visit various countries and uh, as a tourist, you do tourist things. You get yeah. an opportunity to visit museums, try and get as much of the culture as possible. So this is really a phenomenal opportunity here in Trinidad and Tobago, hosting 24 countries. And uh, we can just a uh, uh, drive away, a taxi away to yeah. get an opportunity to explore and really delve into what the culture and arts of the various Caribbean will be and represent. So we take you to the stage for Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley. Your Excellencies, Mrs. Christine Kangaloo, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Mr. Kerwin Garcia, the Honorable Mrs. Bridget Anisette George, Speaker of the House, and Mr. Newman George, Dr. the Honorable Nian Gadsby Dolly, Minister of Community Development, Culture, and the Arts of the Government of Trinidad and Tobago, 
Your Worship, the Mayor of Port of Spain, Alderman Joel Martinez, members of the Cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago, Ambassador Owen Larock, Secretary General of CARICOM, and Mrs. Sandra Bell Larock, Ministers of Government from across the CARICOM region, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, Dr. June Suma, Secretary General and Mem of the Association of Caribbean States, Dr. Hilary Brown, Program Manager for Culture and Community Development of the CARICOM Secretariat, CARIFESTA delegations from the region and beyond, the Trinidad and Tobago hosting delegation, members of the host country committee and CARIFESTA secretariat, specially invited guests, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, children, welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Permit me to locate this regional festival in the national calendar of Trinidad and Tobago. A few weeks ago, we celebrated Emancipation Day. And in a couple of weeks' time, we, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, will celebrate our Independence Day. Carifesta could not have been better placed on the calendar of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And you would excuse us if we adopt you, our sisters and brothers, from the islands across the blue waters of the Caribbean and our South American brothers and sisters, if we adopt you into our annual national celebration here this August month of 2019. I would like to take the opportunity to thank all the officials at every level, from the CARICOM Secretariat in Georgetown all the way up north to the Bahamas. All those who would have cooperated, who would have inspired, and who would have participated in putting this festival together. It's a showcase of our food our dance, our song, our artists, our intellect, and our indomitable Caribbean spirit. But there's a tinge of sadness that we could only note and move on for the moment, and that is we are still separate sovereign states when it could have been better maybe one border around us all, identifying us as one people, might have given us a little tangier taste to our Caribbean-ness. But all is not lost. We are working assiduously towards the creation of a Caribbean single market and economy. And as we do that step by step, Milestone by milestone, one day, one day hopefully in the not too distant future, politically will be identified and economically will I be identified as the people of the Caribbean who have come into this region from all parts of the world, but living together in harmony, prospering and enjoying probably the best location on the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, on the scheme of things, we are small. Lots of islands, some big, some small. Some territories, continental. But in our population resided that spirit to be the best that we can be. To be the best on the athletic track. To be the best musicians. To be the best writers 
And of course, history would have shown that we have demonstrated that we are the best. Whether through gold medals, Nobel Prizes, or at the University of the West Indies, we have shown that we could compete on the world stage. So as we meet here this week, as you walk the streets of the Caribbean, as you visit the various booths where we demonstrate our talent, where we demonstrate our oneness, our spirit of all levels, let us take a deep breath and say, today the Carifesta, today the Caribbean, tomorrow the world, we are on our way. The Caribbean is here and here to stay. So on behalf of the people of Trinidad and Tobago, I once again welcome all of our visitors to make full use of the 10 days or more that you will be here to see us, to mix with us, to make friends, to demonstrate your talent, because you are at home here in Trinidad and Tobago. Enjoy the festival, because memories are made of this. And I trust that you will leave our shores with very pleasant memories. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago, and thank you for coming. You are at home here in Trinidad and Tobago. Absolutely love that. That was a speech from Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, really bringing a warm welcome to all our Caribbean brothers and sisters and talking about we are here to stay the Caribbean and we are taking it to the world as well. We definitely are. We're going to see some of our best that represented around the world represented as well because the orator of the show today, his name is Nikolai Salcedo. In case you all don't know who he is, he's the man that played Ulrich Cross in the movie Hero. And he actually won acclaimed reviews for his role as Ulrich Cross. And it was screened all over the world. And he's actually going to be the curator for the actual performance today entitled The Spirit of wild oceans and we're getting ready for the invocation and uh, you are going to see some amazing choreography here as Judy Chung Dennison and the JCD team engaged the talent of Noble Douglas, Terry Springer and Ian and and Batiste all part of the choreography as what we are going to present to you on this stage in this beautiful opening ceremony of Carrie Festa 14. So right now let's get ready to take a look inside the crowd because it is truly an experience that is going to be the spirit of wild oceans here at Cari Festa 14 as we continue to connect, share, and invest. Ladies and gentlemen, that you keep the aisles clear as the show is about to begin. This is actually the pre-act 
and the entrance and invocation of the six muses. Now this will be followed by Act 1, the Genesis scene. Now this is a Caribbean odyssey celebrating this incredible multicultural, multi-ethnic part of artistry and creativity that is the Caribbean. It will serve as part of this grander narrative of the creative force that lives within the Caribbean people, how that natural harmony has echoed through the islands. And as you know, Trinidad and Tobago being the host nation, we are going to be well represented, well represented by many leading entertainers, and this will culminate with the grand parade of the nations for Cari Festa 14, so you all can look out for that a little later on. We're also going to have some very special surprises, but as the muses get ready to make their way and get the spirit of Wild Ocean started. In the beginning, the world was a sea of tidal storms, a vast blue atlas of watery wilds. Darkness reigned as stardust fell from the heavens. Let me tell you a story thousands of years in the making. Amidst the chasm of the shadow veil that once consumed the cosmos, before man, the one true creator, our first mother, Gaia, grasped the rhythmless dark and in her might composed the first symphony of the stars. Her song forged the first fires of dawn ignited spiral strikes of intricate wonder that would live forever in the mind of man's early dreaming. She lengthened her hymn across the dawn, and on that day, Mother Gaia called forth the divine creatures to carve the first earth.
she willed it so, and so it was, that the great leatherbacks, beings of the sacred light and violet deep, would bring man to a part of the sea she called paradise. Here was born our first awakening. The great tree and its protectors, the first peoples, would be the architects of our story. On this day, they would anchor the Caribbean into the sea. Here our beginning shall unfold. Alight the roar of drums, alight the first spirits, breathe fire into our making. Her prophecy of untold wonder beckons, lay the roots, come unto us. Isles of 
wonder. Our Caribbean. Here we collide. We who shall fill the chasms with her rapture. The first symphony. Her eternal hymn. The spirit of wild oceans. And so came forth the spirit of the Caribbean from a liquid antilles littered with bamboo cathedrals and sunken sea caves came our most powerful story.
command run forth. It awakened the artists in the many lands to come to this beautiful paradise called the Caribbean, a diverse colony of coral atolls and crystal blue mountains. It was a place where wonder and majesty would reign from the beginning of time till ever after. You see, Stories connected its people, for roots grow deeper than any ocean wave. This is our story. Hear our song. Every day and every day. 
Antigua is home. It's home for me. Land of sun and sea. And total beauty. Yes. This coral island in the Caribbean Sea has its very own, its own identity. I guarantee it's a place you want to be. There's so many reasons, just come you'll agree. Welcome everyone, welcome to our shores. Come see the excitement and have fun alone. There are so many islands, as many islands as the stars at night, on that branched tree from which meteors are shaken like falling fruit around the school of light. But things must fall, and so it always was. On one hand, Venus, on the other, Mars. Fall and are one. Just as this earth is one island in archipelagos of stars. Somebody take me home, home, home. Somebody take me home. 
have one last place to journey. Now let me show you my last place. And I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers, is that right? Yes, that's well, now, true. Will you sing for us? Right now.
the sons of Lord Kitchener and Mighty Shadow. I'm an artist, and this is how I see. I have a beautiful soul, and my soul is Trinidad and Tobago. I can live nowhere else, I can dream nowhere else. I dream Trinidad, and I dream out of Trinidad, and I dream into Trinidad. In this new lands, the Caribbean, I grow new root and I spread branch too, because I name survivor. No, fighting still to know myself, to love myself, to free my mind, surviving. It's well understood that any civilization is known for its culture. The fusion is a natural evolution of my life, a natural evolution of my personality, because my mind is totally open to everything around me. The purpose of being a musician is to produce something that people will enjoy. The time to set the pace is when you're the top. When you're the leader, you set the pace, and that's what I did. Dance is a great form of expression, and to express what you feel, what you want somebody to feel that you feel, I just think it is a wonderful form of the arts. The limbo, of course, the most exciting dance that has ever produced. It is now the major dance of Trinidad and Tobago. The building of the society has to come from a kind of imaginative mind. If you look into your child's eyes, regardless of the age, you will see their dreams. The first rhythm that you hear in your life is the heart of your mother. Boom. But we have the first drum beat of your life. They're all pieces of art. This place is so richly textured, so multi-layered in the, in the whole range of tones of its people, from deepest dark through all shades of gold and bronze to palest pale. Trinidad and Tobago seems to be a cradle for humanity. The river never drinks its own water, and the tree never eats its own fruit, because it lives a life of giving. This place, this place sweet to bad. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
manos ni de man. I am man, oh, he's sweet and kind. Honey, let me find Jamaya. Oh, manos ni de man. I bring it, 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 I bring it. Don't be let me lonely, walking home. 
Fuck 
Some noise for Pan Legends, the Desperados, Carl Nayak Dance Academy, Dragon Boys, Sasa, the Signal Hill Choir, Nival Shetland, Natalia Duckwell, Ola Tunji, Nyla Blackman. Please put your hands together for Colonel Roberts and Sharon Bailey, all sons and daughters of Trinidad and Tobago. Say yeah, yeah! My name is Nishan M. 2018 and 2019, joint Chutney Soka Monarch and proud Carry Festa brand ambassador. And on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, it's my pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to the official opening ceremony for Carry Festa 14. Special welcome to all my brothers and sisters from the Caribbean. Can I see your hands in the air? Say yeah, yeah! Are you all ready? Trinidad and Tobago, all the hands in the air, up in the air, like this, like this. Hit them with the bang bang. Let me hit them with the bang bang. Son, hit them with the bang bang. Let me hit them with the bang bang. Show me a wave like this. From we are, and we so chutney, so cut to the world. Let me get them the fire. Come on, let me get them the fire. If you know your country has the most fire in the whole Caribbean, put your two hands in the air right now. We bring the fire.
Sisters from the Caribbean islands and countries to cross the stage. Are you guys the ready? Stage. They're not sounding like they're ready. They ain't sure. They ain't sure. Are you guys ready? All right. Somebody say Curry Festa. What's that? And coming to the stage, first off, we have. The Genesis Act, Hey Neighbor Act through the artistic anthems of Trinidad and Tobago. And right now, we see the island of Anguilla crossing the stage of Carry Festa 14. Remember, this year's theme, the tangible and intangible connect, share, invest. And uh, we enjoy the sounds of Nishad M. Destra Garcia really bringing the curtains down, having a phenomenal performance. We also enjoy the sounds of uh, Neil Val Chetlal, Natalia Dockwell, Nyla Blackman, Ola Tunji Yearwood, King David Rudder, as well as Carl Jacobs with that Trini to the Bone, a signature song that everyone holds close to their heart. We also saw Desperado, Seal Orchestra, Dragon Boys, Tassa Band, Cal Nayak Academy of Dance, Signal Hill Alumni Choir, Lost Tribe, Denise Plummer. And uh, we also enjoyed uh, some phenomenal performances, a tribute to Kitchener and Shadow as their sons performed and played special tribute. So right now we've got the parade of the nations on stage. We enjoyed how uh, we were seeing Anguilla. They are still on stage. And still to come, a host of other Caribbean islands making their way to the stage. From Montserrat to St. Kitts Nevis to uh, Antigua. We've got Dominica will be crossing the stage, Jamaica and all the other countries. 24 countries getting ready to cross the stage. And as we run through them, uh, Anguilla on stage, remember we're looking out for Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, Montserrat, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands. And uh, we've got some independent contingent, Canada, Colombia, Cuba, Curacao, Guadeloupe, and Martinique. So we continue to showcase Carry Festa 14 being hosted by Trinidad and Tobago. And on stage, we have the parade of the various islands. Anguilla making their way off stage as we make way for our other Caribbean brothers and sisters. All right, so it's time to see the representatives from the land with a beach 
for every single day of the year. Antigua and Barbuda, this is their parade of the nations as they cross the Cari Festa 14 stage. Yes, here it for Antigua and Barbuda, the host of the next Carry Festa. We'll be seeing you. All right, up next, we are getting time. ready for Barbados. Yes. They recently the came off of Barbados. Crop Over, celebrating in a very big way. So we're going to see the energy Welcome of Barbados of crossing Barbados. the stage right now. So much for them to be proud of as an island. Yeah, Barbados boy won't give it up for the world. Nothing like coming home to the rock, boy, for real. Come on, let's go. Gem of the Caribbean Sea, one nothing with me. I am a pigeon, I'm a pigeon, yeah. 166 square miles of pure love, pure smile. I am a pigeon, yeah. I'm a pigeon, yeah. Rosan and crystal blue sea, one nothing with me. Jump up and down and sing it. Come on. Gem of the Caribbean Sea. One night sing it free. I am a pigeon. I'm a pigeon. I'm a pigeon. Yeah. One peaceful love in society. We're one family. I am a pigeon. I'm a pigeon. Yeah. And I'll come over and call to man to the women of Kevin Sands. I am a pigeon. I'm a pigeon. Yeah. Just festival reggae on the hill. Let's hear it for Barbados, host of the last Carry Festa. Good to see you, friends from Barbados. Thank you. And now we welcome our friends and neighbors in Belize, land of the ancient Maya. So we want to remind all our viewers, some of these con contingents are as big as 200 to 300 members. Some not as big, but what's important is the representation. They are, they are well represented, that's right. We've got the leads making their way on stage as we speak. And uh, 
showing the patriotism and our audience really embracing them today. This is what it's all about. The melting pot, the Caribbean coming together for Carifesta 14 to showcase all that they have to offer right here in Trinidad and Tobago and by extension, sharing it with the world. And we want to invite every single person throughout Trinidad and Tobago, and even if you're not in Trinidad and Tobago, find your way to Trinidad and Tobago within the next 10 days for Cari Festa and visit the streets of the Caribbean here at the Queen's Park Savannah. Welcome our friends from Belize. Thank you. Good to see you, Belize, land of the ancient fire. As Belize makes the way like off of the stage, we get ready Cayman for Island. one of the most beautiful places that have been Cayman Islands. The very proud people making their way on the Cari Festa stage. Their contingent, one of the one of the larger ones. Welcome Cayman Islands. We look forward to seeing you over the next 10 days. Good to see you, Cayman Islands. Now it's time to bring on... After enjoying, uh, enjoying a, a nice folk dance from the Cayman Islands, we are getting ready for another contingent. Dominica making their way to the stage as we continue our coverage of Cari Festa 14.
on stage is a man who has done so much for culture. Raymond, everybody loves Raymond from Dominica. Director of culture. Welcome, Dominica. Good to see you. All right, there you have it. Dominica, the nature island. Very popular for their Dominican Creole festival and really celebrating their Creole heritage on that island. And from nature, we go to the home of the job, the home of spice, the Spice Island Grenada. And as we see the Spice Island Grenada, very proud of their flag and leading the contingent we have the jobs, the young jobs, and as most people would know, Grenada just finished Spice Mass, and for those that went, you would know, it was really one of those great experiences, and we also see some of their traditional carnival characters, which include the short knee, and they are followed by the rest of the contingent, a lot of young people in Saturday, and that's a good thing about Carrie Pasta, one of the good things that the young people of the islands really get a chance to come together, socialize, and participate in our heritage. And their heritage as well. They get that opportunity also. Thank you, thank you, Grenada. Welcome, welcome to Carrie Festa, Grenada, the Isle of Spice. We'll be seeing lots of uh, friends over the next couple of days. Time to visit Guyana, land of many waters. We have Guyana. They are getting ready to make their way onto the stage quite a large contingent as well and each one on the ramp eagerly anticipating their presence on the stage this is what it's all about every country in full regalia representing their own and sharing it with the rest of the world and um, a lot of uh, you're seeing the flag on stage as we speak as the other members of the contingent make their way to the stage loads of dancers some in costumes as well and we're also seeing a bit of a rhythm section and the rest of the contingent making their way to the stage showing their their patriotism for their country guyana and also celebrating the heritage of their ancestors from the first people to the african as well as the east indian influence guyana beautiful 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 guyana and as we know there are a lot of guyanese nationals living in trinidad and tobago a lot here because of studies and so on. So the young man you, you actually see holding the Guyanese flag, he actually resides here in Trinidad and Tobago. I've seen him in many dance presentations already. And he is representing for Guyana. Let's give a warm welcome to our friends from Guyana. We'll be seeing you in the next couple of days, Guyana. Thank you. Now we travel from Guyana to Haiti. Welcome, Haiti. Sac Passe Haiti is making their way on stage as Guyana makes their way off. Many people are unaware of how beautiful Haiti is. But trust me, if you've been to the beaches and seen the scenery of Haiti, you would really know and appreciate how beautiful Haiti is and how amazing the experience can be 
a very proud, very excited group of Haitians on the stage celebrating partially their French heritage as well as their African heritage. Fantastic, Haiti. Let's hear it for Haiti. Welcome to Carry Festa 14. Now we travel from Haiti and we're heading up north to the Caribbean. We're A heading very excited to Jamaica. audience here at the Queen's Park Savannah, Haiti. Up next, the land of wood and water, the land that gave us reggae, Jamaica. Gets ready to take the stage. Land of rainforest, land of amazing topography, many waterfalls, and definitely a land of heart. Jamaica on stage, proud of it as well, as they celebrate being together here for Carry Festa 14. No boy can buy me out, me no foreign minded, no way compared to Jamaica. Uh. Jamaica love, we wanna feel Jamaica love. Everybody want to visit Jamaica, Jamaica love, Jamaica, Jamaica love, we want to see Jamaica love, now I now represent the citizens of Jamaica, Jamaica love, Jamaica. Sweet Jamaica, man, I and I land that, me not stop love it, I mean what the world massive love it and I respect it, man, hear this? The beauty of this country Me never know a serious thing Until me reach a foreign So what a nice place to live Sweet jam, don't the only problem is Dollars now run, so what a nice place to live Sweet jam, don't the only problem is Dollars now run Welcome, Jamaica. Fantastic. We look forward to seeing you. Welcome to Carry Festa, Jamaica. Traveling on our Caribbean journey to the beautiful islands and the beautiful countries that make up this amazing place. We are heading to Montserrat. Next up, we get ready for Montserrat, making Welcome way Montserrat. on the stage. One of the smaller delegations as well, representing Montserrat. It's small, especially in comparison to Jamaica that just took the stage, but that does not discount the pride of Montserrat as they get ready to take the Carrie Festa stage. Truly, truly a moment to be joyous as we continue to come together, connect, share, and invest. Carrie Festa 14, this is Montserrat on stage.
Let's hear it for Monstrat. Welcome once again, Monstrat, to Carry Festa. With faith and resilience. The Emerald Isle. Carry Festa 14. Now we're heading to Helen of the West Indies. We're heading off to St. Lucia. Representing the place of the Pitons, St. Lucia, their delegation. Very happy, a medium-sized one in comparison yes, to yeah, everyone else. They are. And so many greats have come from St. Lucia, especially in terms of, when we talk literary arts, we talk about Derek Walcott. When we talk about music, we talk about the man that is Moto that has been contributing so much to the soca space. Look at them, Air, yeah. St. Lucia, choreographed through Well theme. choreographed, I love that. Beautiful in their blue and white, well coordinated, and of course the black inside of there as well. on every day it's a feeling we cannot contain so let we go go, go, go. to see the people playing everybody celebrating the music sounds so sweet it's only we who feel it i'm proud of where i'm from i need you to understand i am a set to shine no matter how far i go thank god that i am a set to shine Let's hear it for St. Lucia, Helen of the West Indies. Welcome, St. Lucia. Not too far away, we are stopping on our Caribbean journey, heading to St. Up Kitts next, and Nevis. from St. Lucia, we head to St. Kitts and Nevis. A place actually had even the pleasure of visiting Tamara. Yes, this, we did. This is actually a very nice place to be. Again, a very proud people as most Caribbean people are. And we see them getting ready to grace the stage, marching on and representing for their nation, St. Kitts and Nevis. Let's hear it for St. Kitts and Nevis. Welcome to Carrie Festa. St. Kitts and Nevis, and on our journey, we're heading south. We're heading south to the islands of St. Vincent and the Up Grenadines. Next, from St. Kitts Welcome. and Nevis, as they show us more of the island, we get ready for St. Vincent, Vincent and, and the, the Grenadines. Grenadines. Loving the color, loving the color that's about to take the stage. Well uniformed as well. 
and everyone eagerly anticipating this opportunity of the ladies get ready doing their ballet type dancing in their garb touching the stage St. Vincent and the Grenadines getting ready to represent and express their culture on stage and the Grenadines. Welcome our friends from SVG. And we're traveling south from SVG, a land very well known for its agriculture. We welcome from South America, Suriname, a Dutch speaking island, and one of the top producers of bauxite in the world. Yeah, part of South America, correction, not, not, not really an island, but part of South America and one of the top producers of bauxite in the world. Well known for their water lilies and orchids and also for their native tribes of their first people. Dressed in their indigenous garb and uh, well represented, a nice uh, contingent as well on the stage. Uh, we're also getting an opportunity once again, like we did from inception with the opening, an opportunity to enjoy their sound, the sound of Suriname. Their style of dancing as well being expressed on stage. <laughs> Welcome the delegation from Suriname. Welcome to Caribesta, of neighbors from Suriname. On our journey. Yes, so as Suriname makes their way off stage, small contingent Turks and Caicos touching our stage next and happy about it, eagerly anticipating. We're seeing some on the ramp, looking forward to that as well. Uh, nice uh, energy also on the stage as Turks and Caicos gets an opportunity to represent, wave their flags on our stage for Carry Festa 14. Never. 
every night. Hey. From Turks and Caicos, welcome to Trinidad and Tobago for Perry Fest of 14. Turks and Caicos. Well, as Turks and Caicos make their way. And Caicos, we get ready to head to BVI, the British Virgin Islands. Playing their traditional music in the background. And like we said, there's some cont contingents as large as 300 people, but others smaller. Contingent maybe 50, or maybe in some cases even less, but that doesn't stop the pride and how happy each member, every single member of each contingent is. How proud they are to be here show the Carrie Festa 40. Welcome to our friends from the British Virgin Islands. Well, we have one last place to visit, folks. I wonder where that would be. Let's well, as the British Virgin the Islands station, make their way off Trinidad stage, the host Trinidad. country, Trinidad and Tobago, land of the hummingbird, land of the steel pan and calypso, land of mass, land of Bel Air. Land, land of the of Tobago Chick and the Tobago Heritage Festival. The land yes. of many beautiful waterfalls, many beautiful beaches, the home of the Pitch Lake, the home of all of us, Trinidad and Tobago. This is us on stage, portraying, firstly, the kings and queens of Carnival, masquerading on the stage that they are all too familiar with, this stage, the Savannah stage. Following the kings and queens of carnival, we actually had the Tambu Bambu on stage meeting. And now we see some... Limbo dancers. Yes, mm -hmm. our... Our 
traditional dance. This is the dance of Trinidad and Tobago, the limbo. Hear it for Trinidad and Tobago. A real TNT welcome to our Caribbean friends. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago.
Well, we've seen many of our neighboring nations represent Carrie Festa 14. We are here. We are ready to connect. We are ready to share. We are ready to invest. Those of y'all, listen, those of y'all in Trinidad and Tobago, and if you're going to be in Trinidad and Tobago over the next 10 days, make it your business to check out the streets of the Caribbean here at the Queen's Park Savannah. There's also the Youth Village happening. There's also the Film Festival happening and so many other things that you can get involved in. Just check out the Cari Festa website and That's right. find out where Cari you Festa, want to be. Carifesta.net, you're going to get an opportunity. We are talking about over 100, over 100 uh, activities to participate in, so I know many are looking forward to that. And as you mentioned, Hans. All right. So we still have our Moco Jumbies on stage as we continue to celebrate this big opening moment right now. The drums that you're hearing in the background are actually being played by the region of Guadeloupe. Yes, they that's right. They have a little contingent here and they are playing and actually getting ready to cross the stage as well. In all their splendor, all their glory, and loads of authority, they are making their voices heard as Guadeloupe makes their way onto the stage, letting Trinidad and Tobago know that they are here for Cari Festa 14. So our region of Guadeloupe, they are on their stage with their various instruments, well, their multiple uh, cultural garb as well, uh, showcasing their heritage, making their voices heard. And this is what it's all about. This is a part of it, the celebration of various Caribbean islands, all the Caribbean islands coming together in one space here in Trinidad and Tobago. So uh, I know you can feel the energy from where you sit as you see the smiling faces and uh, dancing on stage, enjoying their sounds of their land with great pride. And we are bringing the action to you live from the Queen's Park Savannah. And as you mentioned, they are independent contingents. So we have our CARICOM Thank members, you, our CARICOM Welcome associate members, and, and our Gary independent contingents. So one of our Guadalupe. independent contingents is Guadalupe. They just made their way, well, they're making their way off stage, just doing their final parade so to speak and i kind of like the element that guadalupe brought this and live to close instrumental off the show, we have type a delegation representing presentation. canada so we have to welcome up next canada and the thing about canada is people will say wow canada and carry festa how come what's up with that well what's interesting about canada, canada is a lot of the caribbean diaspora have migrated to Canada because Canada, we know, has been an all-embracing nation and they've been very embracing, especially of their first peoples. And the Canadian Embassy, very present here in Trinidad and Tobago and also very present throughout the Caribbean. This is the nation of Canada.
As we thank our delegation from Canada, we've come to the end of our opening ceremony. Hope you've enjoyed the performances all day with you in mind. For those of you who wish to continue the party, there's going to be an after party. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Cari Festa is here. Cari Festa 14 is here in Trinidad and Tobago. The tangible and intangible. Connect, share, and invest. Yoshri Hans Devines and Tamara Williams. I mean, Tamara, we had a time. Yeah, it was a, a phenomenal show. And as we mentioned earlier on as well, an opportunity. It's one of the most anticipated events on the Caribbean calendar. The opening of Cari Festa 14. So many things to look forward to. So many countries here to represent. Over 100 activities and events that you can participate in. And so many things that you can learn from our Caribbean brothers and sisters as well. And we too here in Trinidad and Tobago will get the opportunity to share our culture, our folklore, all our heritage and what we have to offer with them. At this point in time, before we close off, I really want to say thank you to all of the corporate brands that have come on board and partnered with the Ministry of Community Development, Culture and the Arts to make Cari Festa 14 possible. It would not have been possible without y'all extending that hand to make this happen, this integration and this beautiful moment and experience that represents true Caribbean unity. We want to thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes and to share this historical event with you. Trinidad and Tobago hosting Cari Festa 14. We are proud of it and we know that our various Caribbean brothers and sisters have embraced it as well. Thank you so much for viewing. See you when we see you. For the next 10 days, it's Cari Festa 14. We continue to connect, share, and invest. Have a great night.